Hello and welcome to this video in which I'll show you how to carry out a simple distillation of a mixture of two organic liquids. Distillation is a widely used separation technique which uses the difference of boiling points of liquids. The distillation I will carry out is that of butanon and toluene using quick fit P14 glassware. In this experiment, we are using organic liquids and therefore it is necessary to wear gloves and work in the fume hood. Your lab manual will highlight whether you should wear gloves for any experiment with a notice that looks like this. Before setting up the apparatus, grease all the joints. This prevents the glassware from getting stuck together, as well as the vapors from escaping the setup. These are the joints to be greased. You will find the grease in plastic syringes. Make two lines on the joint. Put two pieces together and turn them to spread the grease. Wipe any excess using clean paper. Now take two pieces of thin tubing and moisturize the ends with water. This makes the tubing easier to be attached. The order of attaching the tubing is important. Firstly place one end on the tap, then connect the second end of this to the condenser. This will be the water inlet, so has to be on the arm of the condenser that is further from the heating source. When placing the tubing on the condenser, please take great care not to break the glass. Hold the condenser close to the arm. Also, make sure that the tubing is well fitted, and what is meant by that goes through the wide part of the arm. Place one end of the other piece of tubing onto another arm. This will be the water outlet. Take a 50 ml round bottom flask and fit to the right adapter. Place them in the heating mantle and convince yourself that the mantle gives a firm stability to the flask. The clamp next to the mantle will be used to clamp the condenser. Estimate the position of the condenser that will make the round bottom flask in approximately vertical position and fit the condenser. Again, make sure not to break the glass. Place the thermometer in the still head and the still head in the adapter. Adjust the thermometer position so it was at the level of the vapors entering the condenser. Now place the receiving adapter and the beaker in which the condensed liquid will be collected. Put the free ending of the tubing inside the sink. Connect the mantle to electricity. And make sure that all the parts of the setup are joined well. Check if everything is tidy and safe in the fume hood. Pay particular attention to the tubing and electricity cable that has to be behind the distillation setup. Take off the still head and transfer the liquid to be distilled into the flask with the aid of a funnel. Put three to four anti-bumping granules into the flask. It is a common mistake to place too many of them, which is unnecessary. Place the still head back. Now it's time to turn the water on. Do it slowly and hold the end of the tubing. When you reach a steady flow, Put the end back into the sink. Check if the water is not dripping. 
and ask the demonstrator to check the setup before you switch the heating on. Switch the heating on to the maximum and wait for the solution to start boiling. If the solution boils gently, there is no need to turn the heating down. Otherwise, adjust the heating so the solution was boiling steadily. You can see how the vapors are condensing on the upper parts of the setup. And the vapors that enter the condenser condense into the beaker. This is the first component of the mixture. The temperature rises and then reaches the boiling point of it. When the temperature starts rising again, quickly change the collecting beaker to another one. Now, until the boiling point of the second component is reached, the condensing liquid is a mixture of the two liquids. When the temperature of the second component is reached, change the beakers again and collect the second component. Please take great care not to distill any liquid to dryness, as this may lead to explosion. Switch off the heating mantle when there is still significant amount of liquid in the flask, as it will still boil for some time after you switch the heating off. Aim to leave 3 to 4 milliliters of liquid in the flask. When you switch the heating off, allow the whole setup to cool to room temperature and then switch off the water. To give you an idea of how much to leave in the flask, the left hand side flask is the initial 20 milliliters of liquid and the right hand side one is the amount to leave. The three beakers contain the first component, mixture, and the second component, respectively.